Good morning, beautiful people. Today is a great day. It's a blessed day because we woke up this morning. I'm not going to be before you long. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like the pastors. And they don't be telling the truth. That's the problem I have. They don't be, they don't be telling the truth because they be before me long. But anyway, I'm about to put on my um, brilliant of is that what it said? Brilliant Effects Lip Gloss Black by Black Radiance. Because they still popping. They still popping. It's like a pink color. Like, when my lips get dry, I had to go get me some lip gloss. And this is the one I just hit. I, I always go to Black Radiance. Always. Because the price is good. And it's going to be flattering to my skin complexion. So. I think I'm going to get some more of these. Who knows? But anyway, yeah. So, I came on here this morning. Um, on a serious note, kind of, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know, I spoke about, uh, I call her Miss Sweetie Pies, but her name is Miss Robin, or Robbie, I don't know why I call her Robin, Miss Robbie, uh, Montgomery, it's about her, her son allegedly setting up her grandson, I believe, to get killed okay if you do watch sweetie pies like me if you are tv fanatic with shows like me you would have saw it years ago when it actually happened because it happened in 2016 i believe and i i remember totally when the story came out that her grandson was shot and killed which really hurt me to my core because I watch the show, you know, you sometimes when you watch a show for so long, you feel like you're a part of the family. So it was very hurtful that it happened because the boy was trying to be on the, the right path. And I knew that's why his grandmother was taking him in because she wanted him to be on the right path in life. Now, with that being said, I did also know that I think he was kind of troublesome, I believe, if I remember correctly, because I did not go and research anything. Um on the show i can't remember quite what he was doing but i think it was a little teenage stuff doing some things he shouldn't be doing you know um so when it did come out i think a lot of people felt like it was something that he had been doing and that's why he was killed um I feel like even miss robbie didn't thought that like something that he got into with somebody in they definitely thought he knew the person. They felt that way. Like they definitely thought it was a setup from the get go. I will say that they from the get go they thought it was a setup. So they never thought like he just got robbed or something like that. They automatically felt like somebody set him up, which is crazy to me how it took so long for them to figure it out. But it definitely took them some time. Um supposedly Uncle Tim um somehow i feel and it's kind of crazy because when i remember the show i felt like he was a little just the grandson because him and his mom had a few issues it, it was almost felt, it was almost like he felt like his mama should have did so much for him like yeah you should do this or you should do that and i feel like that's not how life works you're a grown man you have a child he had a fiance you need to go do some things on your own either you're gonna help your mama in a restaurant or you're not but he wasn't looking for that. It, it felt like he was looking for his own fame, is what. It, but he wanted to come up, come up off of mama. So with that being said, he supposedly went and got an insurance policy on the grandson, which is his nephew, um, four hundred and fifty thousand. This is what I read. Do I know if it's true? I don't, because I'm not a a criminal detective yet. I do have a degree. I could do it if I want to. But I'm not doing it yet. Anywho. So. Supposedly that was the case. And the weird part is. I think very few people pay attention. That's a lot of money. On a 18. Um, usually people put that on themselves. Like I can see if it was on Miss Robbie. <laughs> She's older. You know what I'm saying. Makes sense. But for you to put it on an 18 year old. Right now, unless y'all put it on everybody in your family, like y'all just everybody gonna get this much, okay, boom. But just out of the blue, put that on 18 year old, that's just uh, 
that in itself would have rubbed me the wrong way. And I wonder if anybody else knew that he actually did this policy for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wonder if he wonder if he told his mother that he had the insurance policy. I just don't understand that. And then another thing is, too, I think people should research insurance policies. Maybe go knock on a funeral home door and ask them, is it easy to get the money when somebody passes away? Is there stipulations? Is there something? Because they will tell you it's not like a piece of cake. You know what I'm saying? It's not something that the, the insurance people just give you. Yes, when you're filling out these situations, they'll be like, oh, yes, um, oh, we just need that and we need to make sure he's healthy, blah, blah, blah. They may do things like that. But when the time comes and that person actually passes away, they gonna want to know it all. They gonna want to know everything. Okay, that's also one of my degrees. That's why I know that this is not a game, you guys. You can't just just like when people suicide awareness because I think it's serious. You hear me? But also when people get insurance policies and they end up killing themselves, that doesn't help your family. Like, I hate to say it, and it's such a tragic situation, and I feel like maybe they should change that, but it does not help your family when you end up killing yourself. I know nobody's going to hear that that has done it, but for the people who are thinking about it, your family is not better off without you, and even if you have an insurance policy, they're not going to be able to get it because you have just killed yourself. Um... But yeah, like this this situation is crazy. But my main thing about the situation is that everybody like just whispering and talking. And you know, it's going from this state to that state, you know, what's going on. But I, I often worry about, not even so much worry, but I'm cons considerate of Miss Robbie because it's her son, it's her grandson, it's her life. And now she's going to lose both of them. She's already lost one, the grandson. And now she's going to lose her son because he felt that he had to kill his nephew. Who he felt was better off being dead instead of living his life so he can get money. I'm trying to figure out what you need that money for. Was it for that restaurant? Because I really want to know why you felt the need to do that to him. An 18 year old boy. You've lived your life. You made your mistakes. And somebody gave you a second chance. And you would kill that boy like that. Ah, you know what? I'm, I can only pray that it's not true. But it sounds like we got some hurt, pretty hard evidence on him that he really did do this. And I'm hearing a lot of people coming out saying, wonder why we thought Jennifer was lying. I don't know why. I didn't know everybody thought that, to be honest. I know people thought, probably thought she was being dramatic. And I did think that a little bit, ain't gonna lie. But at the same time, I never thought she was lying. Because if you really watch the show, Tim acted up a few times on the show. Like, it was not, this is not surprising. He acted up on that show, y'all. Like, so I'm just kind of confused the way everybody like, Oh, Jennifer, look, we're so sorry. No, Jen, I was with you from the get-go. You're still dramatic to me. I mean, you love to call a lawyer real quick you always trying to get somebody down but i mean i felt you just because i felt how he acted with his fiance at the time but he wasn't the nicest person you know so that's why i never thought she was joking but i do feel for her um like i say y'all y'all better stay in the word y'all better stay praying to god because jesus is coming and if this is nothing new people been killing family members for years but it's happening more and more and it's getting more out there where people are seeing it. Social media is here for a reason. That's no mistake. People can say that's of the devil. Some of it is, some of it is not. It depends on how you use it. But y'all stay prayed up and be blessed. Peace.